top three things I love about my MT-07. Had it for four or five years now, and it's been through a lot. It's been through <laughs> too much. I dropped it many, many times. I've looped it more than I <laughs> am happy to admit. And the repairs have been super cheap. So when you tip this bike, if you don't have uh, hand guards or a crash cage like this one over here, the things that are first to go are the bar sliders and the plastic fairing right here. Those are pretty cheap to, to fix. These are maybe what, like 60, 50 bucks? Not including the emblem. The emblem is another wazoo. Another $30. $30 one emblem. Blow you. So, I highly recommend a crash cage if you are gonna hoon it around. But if you wanna keep it pretty vanilla, then get the crash cage. That's my first mod I recommend to you. I don't even get an exhaust, guys. Why, why are you all buying this exhaust on your motorcycles? That'll only push it maybe a couple horsepower. A couple of horsepower. Oh, I got a like, brand new exhaust. Yeah, it costs is a G. It costs one tenth of the bike. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, do what you will, but man. It, and then you tip the bike and then the exhaust gets scratched. And then you're like, oh, I need to get a new exhaust. I, I low sided my bike. Dude, that was your fault. No, that was your fault, big boy. Why you do that to yourself? Second thing I love the most, I love most yes about the bike is the torque. It's friendly enough for beginner and it's wicked enough for more seasoned rider. But you really have to stay on top of the throttle, meaning you lean back, it's gonna pull you back, especially in the, in the first couple gears. But, you know, you stay relatively loose. You stay loose with your wrist elbows. You won't have that issue. Yeah, this thing is a wheelie monster as you've seen online. I gave up learning balance point wheelies. It was just so tough. So the people that can hoon and balance point no problem, kudos to you, to y'all, because it takes a lot of practice. And I just told myself it's not worth it. You know, it is just not worth it, especially at my age. The third thing I love the most about this bike, let's see, oh, whoop, whoop. Uh oh. It's gonna have to be the reliability. I've had this for eons and not an issue. Everything is accessible and easy to, to get to. Yeah, just no complaints. This thing always gets up and goes. I was very sweet of this woman. <laughs> this thing is the fastest thing that I've been on that I've put between my legs. Hey, oh. Super comfortable. Super reliable. I... That's why I'm not getting rid of this bike. It is quintessentially bare bones with the torque you want. I, man, I've been thinking about upgrading, or not upgrading, I hate to use the word upgrade. I've been thinking my consumeristic brain has been inquiring about getting a, D a Ducati 821 with the new monsters or even Diablo, but the cost to repair those or or the Honda at CB1000R the Neo Retro vintage bike 
so cool. I'm gonna get shafted by this thing, aren't I? But the cost to repair those are ridiculous. Because the tank, yeah, you drop it, you loop it. The tank is busted, or you just get into a an accident. You know. So, for all you riders out there or want to ride, please be careful. Please choose wisely. As for me, this bike is not leaving the stable. 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 This bike is not leaving the stable anytime soon. I'm gonna do one small wooly, and then we'll. Just goes. And I'm trash. I am very bad at wheelies, and this thing is so forgiving. <laughs> Oh. All right, everybody, stay well.